Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix, and welcome back to yet another video in the Django React JS blog application. And in this tutorial, we will go ahead and work with the final API, which is the dashboard post edit API view. That is all we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. I want you to start off by opening up your code editor and I will create a new dashboard post edit, post edit API view. And this will inherit from generics dot retrieve update destroy API view. Because whenever a user makes a get request to this endpoint or to this API view with the product with the post ID, I want to immediately call the destroy API view here and delete it. And I also want to use it to retrieve and obviously update. So for the permission classes, should be same as this. There you go. And now let's start off by overriding the default get object. object. This one should take in self. And all we need to do is grab the user ID. This one should be equal to self.wags user underscore ID. And we also need to do the same thing for post underscore ID. There you go. Then I'm going to fetch the user object. I will say API models dot user dot object dot get where ID is equal to the user ID. Good. And now I just want to go ahead and return user. So if you don't want to return user, you could still remove all this and just say return this. Good. Now that we have done this one, let's also override the default update method, then update our post. So self, request, args, quags. Now what we need to firstly do is get the post instance, instance. Remember that when we overrode the default get objects here, you can see that whenever you call this method, which is the get object, it will immediately fetch this post here. But you can't actually just call it like this. You need to say self.getObject before you will be able to get it, all right? And now that is pretty much what we need for now. I just want you to now fetch the new title, the new image, the new description, tags from the front end, just like we did over here. So if you want, you can still copy all this which is the right thing to do instead of retyping. Title, image, description, tags, category, ID, and post status remains exactly the same. And then what we now need to do is go ahead and fetch category. So category should be equal to API models dot category dot objects dot get where the ID is equal to the category ID that was returned from the front end. Now that we have all this, let's go ahead and update. So one thing that I want you guys to do is this. Post instance dot title should be equal to title, Sim as simple as that. So right now we start updating this. Um, okay guys, I think something is wrong. Yep, I just found out that I missed something. So please, 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 please. Hopefully you saw this before me. Change this user here to post, okay? So filter, I was supposed to fetch two. I was supposed to fetch user, which is API models dot user dot object get where ID is equal to user ID. Then I was now supposed to use this user over here to fetch the post. Instead of this one, it should be post ID. So this is what we are supposed to do, guys. Yep, because if we're going to be updating uh, a post instance or updating a post object, we need to make sure that we return the post here. And while doing this, it actually felt wrong that I was doing something not right because I couldn't remember when I fetched the post. Then scrolled up a little bit and there you go, we had an issue. So that has been fixed now. Hopefully you saw that before me. And let's go ahead and update the image. So updating image, it's a little bit tricky, but simple. 
I just want you to check if image is not equal to undefined undefined then what do we want to do let's say post instance dot image should be equal to image now this is very important because sometimes you might just want to update the title of your post and not the image so in that case we will check hey if the image is not undefined then update the image which means if a user does not want to update an image we will automatically send undefined as the value of this image to the back end i don't know if that makes sense then when this code here reads the value of the image as undefined it will skip this part and continue the other processes okay so post underscore instance dot description should be equal to description post underscore instance dot tags should be equal to tags post underscore instance dot category category should be equal to category post underscore instance dot status should be equal to post status post underscore instance dot save <sighs> i hope that makes sense so as usual let's return a response back to the front end saying post updated successfully instead of 201 created let's return the 200 okay all right so guys that is pretty much it now let's go ahead and configure the url for this to so look almost identical like that one then you could call it whatever you want i will just call this one um post detail post detail and passing the the user id and also the post ID, post ID, good. And this one should be dashboard, post edit API view. Congratulations, we have successfully completed all these API views. Now I wanna go ahead and run my server, Python manage the py run server. Okay, let me see the two back end. There you go, now run py manage py run server. There you go. You can see our server is running well. We don't have any visible error till we start working with the front end. So that is pretty much it for the APIs. In the next one, we will get started working with the front end, fetching posts, creating authentications, and pretty much performing all the operations that we need to get started with the blog application and to complete it. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Do make sure to check out nestblog.app. It's an application that provides you with free to use templates websites, components, blocks, and it provides it in Bootstrap, Tailwind, Materialize, Booma, Pure CSS, and a lot of components are still being added here. So I highly recommend you check out nestblog.app. The link should be in the video or in the description below. That is it. Consider dropping a like on the channel as it really mean the world to me. You can also consider checking out some of the courses in the description below as one of them might help you become a better Python, Django, React, JS developer. And it might even help you land your first six-figure or seven-figure job. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, my love, peace out.